Welcome everybody to our last in the series of the reading through the book of Acts this summer. Here we are at the end of August. Next weekend will be Labor Day weekend. A little bit about the end of the book of Acts. Now, you know, when you read through the whole story of the book of Acts, you've been following the disciples and the amazing things that the Holy Spirit does in the lives of God's people. Then you're introduced to Paul and you get so much information about him, his journeys, the beginnings of his uh, great ties with the congregations that he helps establish, and you get to the end of the book of Acts, and it almost seems a little disappointing. The ending isn't really an ending. It just leaves you with Paul somewhere in a house arrest and you don't really hear what happens next. You know, it's an intriguing ending. I think it does help us, though, because as much as we would want to know about how life and maybe even death happened for St. Paul, that's not the main focus of the book of Acts. It's always been about God's work, about bringing the good news of Jesus to people all over the place. And Paul, as important as he is, and we have a lot of his writings in the rest of the New Testament, he's not the main point. He is not the, the sole focus of this book. And so by leaving him where he's under house arrest, Luke was inspired to write about the message and how it kept going forth. And we know from history how much the good news of Jesus went out even after this time period that's recorded for us in the book of Acts. So it's an ending, and yet it's not really an ending. And isn't that the way it goes for us? For no matter how long any one of us might live, the story isn't really about our lives as much as it's about the life, the death, the resurrection, the new life, the hope, the great news we have in Jesus. It's always about that. So as we come to the end of this reading challenge this summer, it's coming to a close, and in another way, it's not. Which brings me to something I mentioned last time, the story. We'll be picking up that reading in just a couple of weeks. We'll be looking at it in lots of different ways through sermons, through discussion times, maybe a small group or two, who knows? We'll be looking at chapels and in times after chapel school, kids here at Grace will have devotions about this and chapels about it. And the story is just that, it's God's story, and how he has been interacting with his people from the very beginning and up till now and from now until until God decides to wrap up all time on the last day. So I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward to that, uh, that coming together again as a congregation, as a school, around a common theme. And our theme is, for the new school year, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And it is the story, God's ongoing story including you and me and the world. A couple of notes about things um, that are happening. As I mentioned, Labor Day weekend is coming up soon. Know that we return to our regular worship schedule this week. So 8.30 traditional, 11 o'clock praise service as we're used to doing them. So we're back to that schedule. Also, um, want to make sure that you know there's a new member orientation class that's going to begin in just a couple of weeks on September 11th. So I just want to put the bug in your ear. If you know somebody who might be interested in becoming a member here at Grace, here's an opportunity. And if you know them, why not more than just say, hey, you should go to this, say instead, hey, I think you would really uh, like to do this and I would love to do it with you. Bring them along, come with them. 
it'll be uh, Sunday mornings at 9.45 in the sanctuary. But again, that's a few weeks off. September 11th, we start the next round of member orientation sessions. It's been fun to go through the Book of Acts with you this summer. Thank you, for everybody who's been watching and following along. I'm, I'm hopeful and prayerful that reading through Acts once again was a blessing to you and your walk with God. We'll see you soon. God keep you.